Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing Superbike 22. We are here in Donington Park with Michael Vandermark on board the BMW M1000 Double R. Now of course this is Superbike 22 so unfortunately I don't have the 23 liveries but the point still remains that this weekend I was at Donington Park for the World Superbike Round and we had some incredible racing from the R3 Blue Crew Cup all the way up to the Super Sports and then even with the World Superbikes. Now of course if you haven't seen the results yet and you're still trying to avoid it then I'd probably suggest not watching this video. So if you're still here <laughs> we can catch on with the race. So uh, yeah, top right Raz Gassioglu actually getting a victory again. Donington Park seems to just really favour him and the Yamaha so it was great to see him stick the fight to Jonathan Ray and of course Alvaro Bautista which straight line speed down this part here all the way up to the Foggy Estes was just absolutely ridiculous. Amazing. And great performance from Bautista, just smashing the lap records as well. And Johnny Ray on pole, so other than that, it was a, so it was actually a really good weekend. It was great to watch. But of course, more importantly for me, you may have seen my picture. I was at this event. I was working this event, actually, with BMW and, of course, SX Consulting Group. Together, we were working on uh, promoting Ride 4 to the public and getting players to come and try the game right here at the circuit. We were just near the paddock show, which of course you may have seen some pictures already on my social medias, but it was pretty damn cool. And I was able to watch all of the races and also listen to Michael Hill's commentary while standing on the stage. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty big and important weekend for me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's great to be working with BMW again and SX, and of course, most importantly, being at the circuit, being surrounded by bike fanatics and of course World Superbike Riders as well and I actually had the privilege to meet Michael Vandermark in the BMW garage. I went right inside to the BMW Rocket World Superbike garage and I was right in there. There was Tom Sykes to the left, there was Scott Redding, there was all the uh, the guys and important people there and of course I was able to shoot a video with BMW for a promo for the Berlin Moto D, so if anyone's going there, you may see the video, so <laughs> hopefully you do, but honestly, it was, uh, it was a great experience. Michael Vandermark is one hell of a guy, so likeable. Of course, he comes up across that way in the videos, and of course, even when watching on the television, but honestly, he was so welcoming and just a great guy to speak to. We had a good laugh, a bit of banter, and of course, we did our video, so it was uh, a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it, so thank you to BMW for the opportunity to that. It was phenomenal, to say the very least. But it was a great weekend all around. I very much enjoy it. Shout out to Thomas, my uh, colleague over the weekend. Very much enjoyed his company. And uh, we also got to play some TT3, which of course uh, is quite popular on the channel. But I did try, which is very interesting, an Xbox Elite controller. And I know you guys have been saying that I should try the Xbox controller and give it a bash. It's much better than the DualSense or the DualShock 4 controller. But honestly, I hated it. <laughs> it's a great controller. I, I don't take that away from it, but it's not for me. I, I couldn't get on with it at all. I didn't like it. I didn't, didn't like the analog sticks. I didn't like the triggers, but it is a great controller. I would use it for other things, but not for racing. And I think the price of those Elite controllers is a ripoff. I wanted the DualSense one at some point, but uh, yeah, I don't think my bank allowance will allow paying for such a controller when they've already got some very good and capable controllers. But uh, yeah, back to the point of the video, and that of course is Superbike. This has been a while since I last played Superbike 22, and you can really see in the riding my tentativeness on the brakes and apprehension to go full ball here in Donington Park. And surprisingly, with Superbike 22, Donington Park is probably one of my least successful tracks. I really struggle against the AI here, and I don't really feel particularly confident with the bikes here but I need to do a follow-up video once this one is finished. When I started today's video I was really struggling, really really struggling. So I checked in the settings and I realized I had the controller setting set up to Windows 10 and Xbox version but of course I use a DualSense controller so a lot of the feeling and the feedback I was not getting was really missed and I was really struggling. But now I've changed it over to the default option. I feel really good. The only difference I was really struggling with was the fact that the bike doesn't lift up like it does in MotoGP 23. So bringing on the acceleration felt strange. 
But honestly, it, I, I, felt quite, I felt quite good, but I was slow. As you can see, two seconds slower than my personal best, which was set in my heyday, in my peak of Superbike 22. But I, you know, towards the end of the video, we're, we're going to get quite close, and it's, it thrill, it's it filled me with confidence. I'm really keen to get back on Superbike 22 now, so most importantly, I need to hear from you guys. Do you want to see more Superbike 22 content? Do you want me to include this with all of the MotoGP23 and TT3 videos and Ride4 videos? If you do, it's very important you let me know in the comments section down below. I will be doing a poll at the end of this one so we can really decide whether we need to do more Superbike content because I really enjoyed making this video today, I really did. Whether it was the inspiration from Michael Vandermark or it was inspiration from going to Donington, I guess I'll never know. But we are going to change the tyres here because I am keen to see what we can do on the development tyre. So far we've done four laps and all of them have been in the 126s. The last three laps have been very consistent. It's not a very good race pace, but it's been consistent and we're slowly getting better and that's really all I'm looking for here today in this video. Of course, it's more importantly to talk about uh, the World Superbike race at the weekend. That was the main purpose of this video. So, as well, I have not been on the computer, I've not had much communication chance, so for the comments that have been left a little bit longer than usual, I apologise, but I'm back to making content full-time this week, so we can uh, we can really crack on with the videos. I'm looking forward to it very, very much. But, uh, it's, been a, it's been a strange absence for me, because I know, I know I've had videos going up every day, I've not been able to see how well they've progressed, and I've not been able to read much of your comments, so, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a different feeling for me, it's very unique, but uh, I'm going to Birmingham at the end of the year for Motorcycle Live, so if you're going to be there, let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, it'll be very similar to what I've done at Donington, but this time in Motorcycle Live. Very similar, or if not the same, as what I did last year. But before we continue, I would like to give a couple of shout-outs. I would like to shout-out to Max Johnson. I met him again at Donington Park, met him at last year in Birmingham, and he's such a great guy racing in the Mini GP series of course and fab racing. He's one hell of a talent and he will eventually be in World Superbike one day. You just know it. Michael Hill said it. We're going to say it as well and so shout out to Max. He's great to speak to. He's full of confidence and just reminds me of a miniature me. So I like I like him. <laughs> He's certainly impressed me. So Max if you're watching shout out to you and of course shout out to your mum as well. You were, she was so lovely. She mentioned about getting me a prime energy drink, which I've never tried. So I'm hoping she sticks to that deal and she brings it at Motorcycle Live towards November. So I'll be holding you to it if you don't manage. But uh, maybe the drink's not even that great, but we'll, we'll find out, won't we? But yeah, shout out to Max. Shout out to his family. And I hope he does well in the miniature uh, GP series in the Fab Racing Competition. I do believe you can watch his videos on YouTube as well. So keep an eye out for little Max. So into the change direction, I got a little bit confident here, and unfortunately, all is going to end bad, and I don't want that to be the end of this video. We can't end on a crash. So what we're going to do is restart and make this last lap count. Make it really a good lap here. Maybe one or two laps that spends... Yeah, why not? Let's go for two laps, but uh, I do really want to get some more laps in, because I do feel like we're getting closer and closer now to my... I wouldn't say to where I was, but close enough to the think that we could do this again with more and more practice and we should eventually start putting myself up higher on the leaderboards. I was looking at the leaderboards quite a lot before I started this video, and I'm positioned around 20th on every single track. I don't see why we can't get a top 10. I do appreciate that this track has 10 riders in the top 10, capable or former or current esports players so that's that's a big challenge to get into the top 10 but if we can get close enough and reduce that gap and I'll feel a bit better I think in Mandalika I'm very close to Jack Hammer's time so hopefully I can get closer too and uh, now whilst I've just remembered I do need to give a shout out to the Marks One a recent Doctor Ace channel member so I do appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel membership and every single bit that you guys provide helps and I really do appreciate that support. So, towards the end of the video, I do have all of the channel members at the end of the video just to say a big thank you. I don't think I say thank you enough, so that's a great opportunity to say thank you there. But, 
the marked one, you will be added to the next one because I've uh, not had chance to really do anything since I came back from Donington, so I'm trying to catch up as much as I can, but rest assured for the rest of the outros, your name will be on there. So, back to the action. We did improve a 125.575 with VDM. This lap is not looking as promising, but we'll see if we can catch it up as we... Oh, just touch the apex into McLean's. That is the Superbike 22 rumble strips for you. The curbs are... Oh, we're pushing into coppice. Yep, we're going for it. <laughs> really pushing now. But we have lost half a second. So it will not be an improvement. But since the inhibitions have gone, let's go for it. Why not make the last lap count? Why not just absolutely wing it now with VDM? Into the Melbourne Loop. We have a position on the other side of this near the Paddock Show. Onto the firmest part of the tyres, into the Melbourne Loop. But I tell you what, we closed in quite a lot there on the time. Look at the graphic in the top right corner of your screen. If we get Goddard's right, we could actually get very close here. We have tackled Goddard's pretty well. Bring on the power. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I was fighting the bike there, but thinking it was the gyroscopic field, but it didn't happen. And across the line, it's not an improvement. But guys, that is a quick video for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more Superbike 22 content because I'm really keen to get back onto this game now after my small discovery earlier. I'll definitely be doing a comparison between the two uh, d settings you can use with the controller here on PC. But yeah, I've waffled enough for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. Shout out to everyone else for supporting the channel because we are just constantly growing and we're not even that far away from 8,000 already. So... Subscribe if you're new, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I'll see you in the next one. So don't forget, like, comment, do everything else, and even consider joining the Dr. Ace Discord server and even the Dr. Ace crew membership. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.